Hey everybody, 3KO Games here, and we have brand new costumes in the Underwild summons here. So let's jump in and take a look. It is the long-awaited return of Zenolpod, or maybe, uh, Zenolpod costume. Most of you all know the long story with the original costume that was increasing mana of all allies by 20% and got nerfed to 10%. That 20% was crazy good um and 10 percent suddenly just didn't feel uh, as as strong it couldn't you know ensure a bunch of your heroes actually got to full charge right away so the rumor was costumes going right back to 20 percent. i don't think so he's now a wizard class in trapping enchantment it's still average you do get the costume bonus which for underwild is pretty strong um, but now, instead of an immediate 40% health, you get 1060 HP over four turns. And instead of 10% mana, you get all allies receive a small amount of mana over four turns. I don't know how to do the math. Um, when they say small amount, moderate amount. I've read online different places that it amounts to, you know, about this amount of tiles. Um, but I hear conflicting reports. So if anybody has a definite answer to that, please uh, leave a comment below. Um, but I don't suspect that you are getting 5% worth of your mana at a small amount. Maybe you are? I, I don't think you are. And that 5% would be like, you know, what, you know, that many tiles worth it would be what it takes to get after four turns up 20%. And even if it after four turns got to 20%, it's not as strong as original Xenolpod. Um, the costume also does the thing where it uh, alters dark shields and those stats are exactly the same. 37% more mana, or um, on defense, the shields become weakened with 30% less mana. Yeah, that's exactly the same. So, it's not everything It's uh, everybody's been super excited for. Um, okay, uh, thinking a little bit more and doing a little bit more research about this Zenopod costume. Um, and I guess there are two ways of thinking about it. One way is that you are not getting that 20% boost, the Zenolpod of old that everybody was hoping for. And what was devastating about that, I never had Zenolpod, but playing against him uh, on defense, uh, what was devastating was when you were one match away from getting some of your own heroes to fire, and then Zenolpod goes off, and then their entire team is ready to fire. And they have a hero that does mana cut or silence or defense down in a strong hit and one way or another your whole team is just wiped out. That was really frustrating. Um, and it's not going to happen so much with a, with a nerf of 10%. Now, this costume um, does have some other advantages to it. When you had a 20% mana boost, um, some of that mana was wasted. You know, one hero could be one tile, even less than one tile um, away from firing, and there is no boosted mana. There's no carryover, you know, after you fire your special, you don't get the, the extra mana that would have been boosted to you. Um, and with this small amount of mana per turn, um, according to somebody on the forum, right, I don't... I think this is correct. Um, so thank you to Elioti. Um, did the research and saying for small amount of mana, it's 0.5 tiles. If that's correct, um, then what we're looking at, and I'll, I'll link both of these things in the in the description here, is that for an average speed hero, and let's say you have enough mana troops or whatever, get rid of these ads. Oh no, now we're just opening up the ad. Oops, I tried to close that. Okay. 
uh, with an average speed hero and with enough mana troops to get nine tiles. Um, 1.8 tiles is 20%. So over four turns, you're getting over that 20% on an average speed hero. Uh, with a slow speed hero, you're getting not quite as much. With a fast speed hero, you're actually getting more than 20%. And um, if you're playing the long game, you know, you are less than one tile away. Maybe you're only 0.5 tiles away. And so that first turn, that hero is able to fire as well. Fire them right away. And then they still have three more turns after that to gain mana from Xenolpod's special. Um, you don't get the immediate, boom, my whole team's ready to go. Um, but each hero does get a better chance at continued mana growth. Um, so two ways of looking at it. Anyway, that's enough information. Back to the other heroes. Um, Griffin also has a costume, um, and it's slightly less damage. Um, the attack will always bypass counterattacks and reflection. That was, you know, the one turn from the um, from the caster itself, from original Griffin, and now it's a little less damage from Griffin, but caster and nearby allies bypass defensive buffs with their attacks for two turns. So that's that's something that's helpful. Um, if you should be lucky enough to just pull that costume, um, I haven't used Griffin in forever, um, but with that caster and nearby, might level up the costume and. Um, and use them again. Uh, original Gramps just never seem to revive anybody. Um, and especially at slow speed, just a, just a chance to revive that doesn't usually happen, and just a small amount of mana. Uh, so the costume is, is the same chance to revive, but now it's a... It's a small regenerate regenerate 324 hp over four turns which i guess at a three star level is sort of okay still at a at slow speed not too exciting um i've had gramps sitting unleveled in my roster for a whole long time i don't know that randomly pulling him is going to convince me to um level him up and level up the costume i don't know i've got other green heroes i'd like to worry about I do have a couple coins um so might as well just do these and do the superstition first nope nope better excellent okay um so we'll do these couple pulls and i actually have my ether summons to do too so i might as well um do that mac not a bad hero. Already have him. Tattoo. Wonder when he's getting a costume. I kind of like Tattoo. Oh, there's the Gramps costume. Great. Um, like I said, uh, maybe for a three star rush tournament, maybe? And Boral. Yeah, for three star rush, I mean, you know, it's a, he's a healer as well as a reviver then, which is better than a healer and a little teeny bit more mana. Um, so anyway, those are the underwild pulls, but I do have enough to do a a ten pull here of the ether summons. Let's see what happens. I'm sitting on an actually an okay amount of alpha ethers right now, but I. Just kind of undecided about who I should actually throw them to. I've got Guardian Hippo and Obicon 2. Um, two limit broken. And that's it. Um, I have other strong heroes in blue and purple that I think would work. Um, boy, this is pretty empty. <laughs> yes. Okay, I got the I got the one um, 
No, I guess, yeah, just one five-star um, ether. All right, not a huge morning for the pools, but uh, not really super exciting to just see ether summons and underwild summons again. But there you go. Um, thanks, everybody, for checking out the video, um, and we'll see you next time.